Hello and welcome to my nightmare playthrough of Ultimate Doom. This is episode 5, Sigil. Now first and first, just hide here. Take care of all the imps. Take care of the hit scanners. And we can make a move on now. Oh yeah, I have to shoot them high. Okay. A cheeky uh, shotgun placed there. Supercharge, no time for sightseeing, but it does look pretty cool out there. Okay. We can move on here. And grab a radiation suit. Now from here, we're gonna go for another secret. Now we're gonna get a chain gun. There we go. So with this we're gonna take care of a cacodemon. We just have to hope that this Kakademon does not despawn, and, and then we're good. Alright, so, not much left to do now, just have to run for it. There we go. So that's the first level out of the way, it's not, it is pretty tough, but it's not that bad. You do get supercharge and a chain gun in that level. Yes, a chain gun in Shigel. <laughs> Not that common. So yeah, not so bad, quite fun. Let's move on. Right, first things first, is Imp's gonna help us kill these um, shotguns. Don't worry about our health. There's a secret here. We're gonna grab a Berserk and a Supercharge. So let's just make a move on from there. Definitely gonna take care of this castle. Yeah, hopefully we can grab this uh, mega armor. All right. Okay. Do everything. Can grab this uh, red key. Oh, he's guarding it pretty close. Anyway, can grab a supercharge now. And a chain gun. And we're nearly done already. Let's get the wheel. Yep, that's, that is a cyber demon. We just have to try not to get blown up by him. Well, we got blown up, but uh, we got plenty of health left. Really just shot him for his actual. Alright. So there's a supercharge in here. Really done. Just have to try to get through it, pop in here. And that should be the level. So this level is probably the easiest level in Sigil because uh, you've got so many superchargers and a mega armor and a chain gun. Uh, the only difficult thing is trying not to get blown up by the cyber demon, but other than that it's not so bad. So anyway. Difficulty is gonna rise right now. Right, first and first, gonna take over everything here. Get them in fight. Right. There's one shotgun down. Let's make a move on. Okay, that's both shotguns. Now we just have to make a move on. And bullets as well, may as well. I can move on. Nice amount of health so far. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. Okay. Hopefully they in fight. Nope. Whatever. Don't have to kill both of them. Ah, oh, the Kekin spawned. Let's run past him. 
maxing up the 60 health, we can try and run past him. And we got hit by the pack demon, but hopefully we'll be okay. Sir, okay, we're doing fine so far. We're just gonna take out these guys as quickly as possible. Let's make a move. We're gonna grab the red key and we can go through the teleporter. So it's safer. Try and kill everything while keeping our radiation suit. We definitely want to kill the lost souls. Okay, we'll let this go. Okay. Just trying to make a move on now. So there's the Baron. We're going to get past him. Like this. I'm just going to run. Okay. I'm doing okay so far. Just need to kill everything here. Get through here. Make a run. We'll run past this pinky. Okay, here's our last secret. Have to kill this lost soul, of course. Okay, before we do anything, we're gonna kill it, kill everything behind us, so we can't get shot on our backside. We've got plenty of time. Plenty of ammo as well so far. Okay, I think it's safe. We're gonna run past the bound hill. And here it is. Okay. That level is really, really, really hard. Oh my god, what is there to say? Just the beginning area, you're not allowed to get hit. And then you have to somehow land on the berserk doing that jump. And then you have to somehow get past um, everything to the red door. And then you have to not choke. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a really tough level. Anyway, on to the next. This is the soul. Harmless. So let's just whip this in. On to the next. Come on, Lasso. There you go. Let's go. We need the rocket launcher here. And we're gonna go later. Oh, just fire rocket there. I don't want to get hit by any hit scan. Okay. Let's hide here. And try and get past the brand of hell. There we go. Didn't get hit. Excellent. So we're going to grab the invulnerability with quite a good amount of health. So I think this is going to be a good run. So hide here. Switch and uh, hope we can get through soon. It's okay that we're getting crushed, doesn't really matter. Anyway, we got through. Got the supercharge. I want to grab some ammo actually. Okay, okay the shotgun is. Gonna keep our health sack as big as possible, it's very important. Tips. I think that'll do. Let's run past. Is this cycle good? No, uh, yes, that cycle was good, but I, I chickened out. Now let's go. Okay, we can make it across now. We're going to go on the teleporter to stop the platforms to stop them like this. Now I can get through. That imp needs to go away. Actually, I think we'll be fine. Just run for it. Right, these imp, uh, these lost souls, they can't hit us because of the blue key. They get blocked by items. So we've got a really, really good amount of health so far. Let's uh, take care of this guy. Grab the mega armor. And let's progress. We're going to take it really slowly. We don't want to waste any health. 
if we can avoid that if we can avoid taking damage we're gonna avoid taking damage oh, that should be enough rockets spent let's make it across now yep. uh, Baron fireball but uh I don't know what we did, but we avoided it. Oh, I hate Spectres so much. Okay, this Baron. We need, we need to lure him here so that we can get we can get past safely. We don't want to take any risks. So we're gonna get really, really good health sack. Like really good health sack. Okay. Let's progress as normal. Oh, no. Okay, still doing really good in terms of health. Loads of ammo. Yeah, let's take care of all these hit scanners here. Just be really careful. I do. Okay, let's move on. There's one more key left. And we're gonna go for it now. Avoid these imps. Don't want to waste any health on them. And there are some hit scanners that should approach me soon. Okay, there he is. Okay, kill this hacker demon. Just going to tank the damage. Okay. That's it. We just have to wait for this obnoxious door to open. Oh, killing this hacker demon again. Hopefully the pinky doesn't respawn. Okay. I don't want the respawns to clash with the hacker demon and the pinky because fighting them both will be really difficult. Okay. Uh, yellow key. Let's get past. I'm gonna peek in here. I'm gonna rush out. It's really too dangerous in there to fight everything. So we're going to try to encourage some inviting. There we go. Now we just have to use rockets against everything. We've got plenty. We may as well kill this uh, Baron if, the, if he doesn't kill the Kakos for us. Okay. Pretty good so far. Let's kill everything. There's one more secret left. And it's uh, right here. Oops. Why did it go to respawn at that time? Okay, I've got no armor. Okay, this pinky needs to die and then we can get through safely. Let's go. That is such a difficult level. I'm so glad it's over. That is such a difficult level. So, so hard. Okay, why am I playing Sigil? Sigil? Or nightmare the answer to that I don't know I don't know <laughs> oh what am I doing let's just keep going let's see if we can do this on to the next level okay so first off I'm gonna hide in here I've got the shotgun take everything here Okay, now the side room is going to help us kill everything. Okay, let's wake up the lost soul. There you go, he's dead. I can make a move on. Get through here. Alright. Should be a pinky up here. Okay, let's get these imps. Okay, now I can go for the secret. And grab some rockets. Okay, so we're going to take this area nice and slowly. Okay. Use our cells. Now I've got hit, but that's fine. 
Got some rockets, and we're gonna hide here. We're gonna use some rockets to kill the Kakademons. That'll do. Okay, so now we're gonna place a save here. Yes, we're using saves because this level is just too ridiculous, honestly. Um, what should we call it? How about I give up? <laughs> I give up trying this because I, without saves, it's just too much. So here's our first save. Okay, so we're just gonna peek in here. Wait for everything to lower. I can get through. And grab this mega armor. Okay, that's good. And uh, we can just jump, jump down here and kill everything. Okay, let's go through now. Okay, this pinky needs to die. And we can make our way across now. There we go. Everything here. Okay. I'll do. And we're going to place another save here. This level. How about chain gun? <laughs> Please. Because this level doesn't have a chain gun. Okay. Cap here a bit. I can take everything out. I should do. Okay. I should do. I'm gonna hide here. Get a million fight. Okay, that should do. So I can move on. Alright. Oh. oh, we'll be fine, hopefully. Okay, just get everything. Don't want to take any damage as well. Have to go quite fast but everything responds. Uh, Lost Souls thankfully don't respond but everything else we're worried about. I would go hit but um, thankfully there's a low damage roll. Okay. I have to fight this packet even. There we go. And we're gonna place one last save. How about we call it blue key? Okay, let's do this. That do. Right, just a shotgun. And all right, let's have another save. Uh, we'll call this one. How about still, please, a chain gun. Alright. Let's make a move on. Okay. Get everything in here. I think he definitely needs to die. And we can clear out everything in here. And again, here. That 
should do. Alright, let's go. Everything in here needs to die. Peek in here so we can open up the exit. Now let's make a run for it. Right in here. Let's go. And that's um, a Bannon's Void. I'm not happy with this level because obviously I had to use saves. But that level is, is too much even for me. This uh, Sigel Nightmare Runner would never come out if I was going to force myself to not use saves because there's so many points where it's just pure luck. I can't control what's going on half the time. It's just down to just grinding it and grinding it until I finally have a good run. It's just there's too many points where you just have to pray and I'm not going to grind through just the first part of the level over and over and over again just to get a run with uh, um, with um, without using saves. So yeah, sorry about using saves and finally done with that level. No more saves from now on. Just this one level. I just had to. Okay, now I can move on. Alright, so we need to run past this last soul. Pick up the shotgun so we don't weapon switch. We need to run past the dead shotgunners. And now I can uh, get this secret and uh, go through here. Alright. So uh, we're going to avoid this armor, get the secret, this BFG in it. Alright. Let's clear everything out. Oh. You can't even see. I can't see. Okay, that's, I think that's everything. Ah, oh, we, we waked up the barons anyway. Whatever, we'll have to deal with them then. Might as well get some free armor. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay, that's them sorted. Hopefully they don't respawn to annoy us. Oh, there's one more. Die, please. Anyway. I think that's ripped the run, honestly, but uh, hopefully we can make it work. Throw the imps. Shoot this so we can op open up this area. Okay, now we're going to wait a bit. Let the Kakadimans uh, spread out. Okay. That should do it. We're going to get that. Okay. Let's get back up. Hopefully no barons have respawned. Oh, there he is. Let's go. I think the armor saved me. Just make an absolute run for it now. Grab the berserk and we're just gonna punch all the pinkies out of the way. Okay. Invulnerability doesn't last forever. We have to be fast about this. Okay, can't choke. It's really, really easy to choke here. So, here's the, here's the secret exit. Just have to open it up here. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's the secret exit. That's all secrets. So, a bit sloppy with the barons, but uh, I managed to get through anyway. So this level, um, it's one of the easier levels, but saying one of the easier levels when talking about Sigil, it's pretty tough. The hardest part has to be um, after you get the red key, trying to save the invulnerability, because uh, if you go through that lift, it, you can't make it go back up. You have to just keep going at it, because uh, if you let it go up, you can't get to go back down. So um, that's the difficult section. But after that, um, if you've that maze section where you have to have the invulnerability with the cyber demon there, uh, it's quite easy to choke, quite easy to fall off and then kill your run. But other than that, it's quite a short level. It's not too bad compared to the others. So let's just move on now. All right, first things, take care of the shotgunners. They're nasty. That's big damage that was. Anyway, get some health. Wow, aim fireball. It slapped me around the face. Okay, let's get the plasma gun now.
And now we're going to get the red key. Alright, oh, out of health. Let's get the berserk. Okay, we've got everything. We've got a good amount of health as well. Nice and safe using the shotgun. Where is he? There he is. Okay, let's get the supercharge now. Alright, doing good so far. Have to concentrate on that section, you can't take any damage. Because this health sack I have is very important right now. Okay. So I'm gonna face the right and fight a cacodemon. There he is. Oh, fell off. Jump. As much health as possible. Take care of all the imps. That'll do, I guess. Oh, uh, this side beam needs to kill everything for us. Okay. Let's run. Oh, big damage. Hopefully no imps have respawned. Okay, good. Okay, good health. Good amount of health so far. And now I have to take it real slow. We got a radiation suit. We're all good. Okay, let's go. Okay, run down here. Get everything to in fight. Okay, let's go. And everything. We got painted plasma. Painted health. Painted bullets actually as well. Okay, we're doing really well so far. Okay, every area with the blue torch, you go on it and another bit lowers. Okay. And this is the last one. That's it. That's the secret level. So that level is really, really tough. It's hard. That level's hard. Just dodging that cyber demon there. <laughs> and also getting to the cyber demon with enough health. And enough you have to have enough health to do all the backtracking as well. But yeah, that is one hell of a level. Really, really glad I finally made it through. So now now I can now I can finally move on. Let's go. This is a long drawn out level. And thankfully, we start off with a supercharge. So let's get back up. Now I have to fire this, this pinky, oh, this spectre here. Can't afford to take any damage. Now I get teleported here. And now I have to fight a Kakademon. I have to take him seriously because I don't want to take any damage here. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to take it slow here as well. Wow. We didn't want to get hit by him. But I think we've got plenty of health left. Uh, needs that to stop happening. Okay, let's just run for it now. And now I have to open this area up while waiting for an un invulnerability to... Well, we have to wait wait a bit before that platform lowers. Now I can grab the invulnerability. 
And now we can get a really good health stack. There we go. Now we're going to get some Mega Armor. Hopefully the Baron Saint block us. Okay, we can get through. There we go. Let's get some Mega Armor. I just have to make it through here. Nice if this Kakamon wasn't in my way. Alright. Now have to do this section all over again. Try not to get hit. Uh, thankfully, because they've respawned, they have a reduced reaction time. Okay. That's where I can move on. Now I have to do some really awkward secrets. Through here. Oh, the Kakamon is awake. Okay. Hit us a few times. Let's just get him. Okay, it should be a shotgun in here. Well, there goes a the health stack. Okay. All the shotgun is from here. And here's a useless secret, but since we're going for all secrets, we have to get it. Rockets. Yeah, level with no rocket launcher. Just what I always wanted. Okay, let's get out of here. Got a moderate health sack so far. We should be able to keep it, keep it up, so it don't take any damage. Okay. Here's a BFG. And we're gonna make a run for it again. Take it slow here. Okay, doing quite good so far. Alright, so we're going to BFG these Spectres. And we got hit by the, by the imp twice. That was bad. Oh, we're running out of health, but uh, we should be okay. As long as we do this properly. Alright, let's take a run down. Kill some of these guys. And shoot this. There we go. BFG. I can run for it. So this Kakademon, we're going to get them to infight with the Baron. Okay, now he should leave us alone. Right. Fire BFG here, hopefully don't take any damage. Excellent. Okay. Now I have to take care of this Pinky from here. We're getting shot out behind. Okay, let's go. Oh, that shotgun was supposed to get hit by the BFG. Oh well. So we're gonna activate this. And I'm gonna make an absolute run for it after we BFG everything here. That should do. Best we can do right now, anyway. So before everything starts just falling on us, we need to make our way through here as quickly as possible. Just uh, hug the left wall and we'll solve the maze. Okay, it should be here. We're not going to waste another BFG shot, we're just going to run for it. Oof. Alright, we made it. Use the, uh, we're just going to shoot this uh, pinky here with the shotgun. So with our low amount of health but high amount of cells, uh, we're going to try our best to get through here now. So we're attacking him, we can't get hit by him, we cannot afford it at all. Hope he dies. There we go. Okay, so these lost cells, BFG this Kakademon. Excellent, didn't take hit, uh, didn't take any damage. Oof! Got bumped off. Really got bumped off there. Okay. Hopefully that Kaka even doesn't respawn behind us, that would be really annoying. Get some lost souls here. Okay. Let's make a move on. Okay. 
with a shotgun, very important. Got enough health to fight him. So now I have to wake up these cacodemons and we're gonna have to shoot them once they uh, both appear. There's one. Where's the other one? There he is. Got it. So hopefully nothing respawns. And we can make a move on now. What was that? Nim, okay. Let's go. Oh, and that's the level. That is a really, really tough level, really long as well. The ending is so hard. And getting through those barons, they can just scam you, they can steal your run. Okay, that is such a hard level. I'm I'm so my heart's still beating from actually doing it. I was so scared at the end, I thought those barons were gonna kill me. Especially having to do that section with like no health left. So glad that's over. Okay, that that is one of the hardest levels. I've ever played in my entire life. I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> Let's move on. Right, here's the final level of Sigil. Thankfully it's not so bad. So, what do I think of Sigil? It's bloody difficult. So thankfully we've got a chain gun, quite rare for this show. I can grab this uh, supercharge and grab everything in here. Okay, there's a plasma gun here. And we're gonna grab some armor. Make our way across. Okay. Open up a secret. And um, let's move on now. Actually, just sorted them out. And let's get to the exit. Okay. Let's just be able to see everything. That should do. Beat the Spider Mastermind. There we go. And let's defeat this uh, cyber demon. So, as long as he doesn't shoot the walls, we should be okay. Okay, that's that. Here's our last secret. And that's Sigil. That's all of Sigil on Nightmare. Piss to start, all secrets. Only using saves on E5 and 5. No, yeah because uh, that level is just too ridiculous. No chain gun, barely any health, and so many horribly placed enemies that you just have to pray to avoid them. It's so inconsistent. Okay, thoughts of Shijel? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I hope that um, V1.2 makes a few changes just to make it more viable to play on Nightmare. And I'm going to make a follow-up video where I discuss uh, the changes I'd like to see. Um, the changes would, wouldn't would make Sigil much easier on Ultraviolence, but you'd really feel the difference if you're going for it on Nightmare. Okay, so let's go through each level. E, uh, E5M1, okay, instead of saying E5M1, I'm going to say Level 1. Okay, Level 1 was really fun, I really enjoyed it. And Level 2, again, it was great fun. Level three was a bit ridiculous, especially at the ending. I didn't, I don't like the, the cacodemon being right up against the red door. It makes it super annoying to try and get through there without dying, especially after what you've gone through just to get there. Um, level four was really, really fun. I really enjoyed that. It took me a while to beat and a while to plan out, but after I got it done, it's a great level. I think it's one of my favorites. Uh, E5 and five. Put a chain gun in the level. Put a darn chain gun in that level and it'll be fine for the most part. Okay. Level six was really fun. It's great. That was a, I'd recommend playing that on Nightmare as well. I'd recommend it to anyone if you want to go through it. Um, level seven. Yeah, that was fun. That was really fun. I don't like how there's two barons at the end. There should only be one. I think two is a bit overkill. But um, other than that, it's a really fun level. 
really difficult as well, quite long. But yeah, you can I can do it on Nightmare, so <laughs> not so bad. The last level it's fine. I got no complaints. Oh yeah, the secret level. Didn't mention the secret level. Secret level. Leave it as it is. Don't touch it. Don't fix the <laughs> the fact that I can uh, access the yellow key early, or else that level will probably be probably be impossible considering how much backtracking you'd have to do. So that concludes my nightmare run of Sigil. This was not actually planned at all. All what happened was um, I decided to take a look at Sigil and start theorizing: is it possible? And then just started going for it and. Here we are. I beat Sigil on Nightmare, Hundred Cent Secrets. Um, about level five, with me with me using saves on that particular level. Um, if anyone else wants to do it, first to start without saves, be my guest. I would love to see it, but hopefully, um, there it gets a chain gun added to it in the next update of Sigil, which is being worked on. So, thanks for watching and thanks for Decino for um, supporting me. And telling me that I can do it. Just have to try. <laughs> so that's the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.